Welcome back, everyone. I'm Erica Fernandez, and I'm joined here this morning by Michael Blewett, who is the education curator at the Besser Museum. Michael, thank you so much for being here this Thanks, morning. Thanks, Erica. So I know that you guys had a big opening weekend this past weekend at the Besser Museum which, for the Dolly exhibit. Can you tell me a little bit about how that went? It went wonderfully, Erica. It's such a, it's really a big deal, and uh, we really hope that word is getting out. Uh, we had a wonderful turnout uh, for this exhibit in a newly redone Wilson Gallery. It looks uh, really uh, sophisticated and uh, people are going to come and I think be really wowed and learn a ton, uh, not just about art but history and, and science. Um, it's really a great exhibit. So what exactly is the Salvador Dali exhibit? Can you tell me a little about what people can expect? Yeah, Salvador Dali was one of the most uh, famous and prolific artists of the 20th century. Uh, you probably know the, the melting clocks picture, mm -hmm. uh, or that in his mustache that he was very famous for. Um, <clears throat> but he was an incredible painter, uh, highly technically skilled, and uh, painted in what we call a surrealist style. So uh, kind of taking unrelated things and, and putting it together in kind of a dreamlike fashion. What you're going to see uh, is part of our collection, and this is our collection, uh, which makes it all the more special. This is not a traveling exhibit from another museum. This is something that we own here at the Besser Museum, uh, is Dali's illustrations of Dante's Divine Comedy. So Dante, uh, living seven, over 700 years ago mm -hmm. and um, writing the Divine Comedy, this is Dali's illustration of that. So uh, he did, I think, 100 uh, one for each chapter of the Divine Comedy. We have 40 of those, oh, wow. and it really tells the story as you, you begin the exhibit in hell and you move all the way through and oh, wow. end up in paradise. <laughs> That's good. So uh, tell me a little bit about some upcoming Dolly-related re uh, educational offerings. Well, we felt it was really important to do some uh, background on Dolly, on surrealism. Uh, he's such a wonderfully uh, fertile artist for discussing and jumping off and doing a whole lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, art, history, science, he had his hand in so many different artistic movements and did well in so many of them that we're going to be doing a lot of different things. We did a couple of pre-gatherings just to give a little background mm -hmm. uh, to keep you up to date from your, your maybe your college art appreciation class. Um, but we're also doing, in a couple of weeks, we've got one called Dolly Under the Microscope, which is going to take a, a Dolly, famous Dolly painting, uh, one that's kind of famous, but maybe people don't know as well. We're going to break it up into component parts because individually they make sense in mm -hmm. the little pieces, but then uh, putting them all together, you can understand a little bit more how surrealism works yeah. and how that uh, technique all comes together. Yeah, so I know that you guys are also celebrating uh, 50 years this year, so can you tell me uh, what are you guys doing for the 50th anniversary campaign? Right now the campaign is underway um, and the, the train has left the station. You know, we're, uh, we're more than halfway there right now to the, the goal we have of uh, half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, a big chunk of that is set for a planetarium upgrade uh, from uh, an analog or, a, or an optomechanical system, the one that's been serving us very well for 50 years, but going then full-blown digital theater where we can cover so many more different disciplines yeah. um, besides astronomy. We can do uh, anatomy and earth sciences and basically you name it and we can figure out a way to put it up on the dome. So there's a lot of things going on at the museum, especially within the next coming months. So uh, we look forward to hearing more about it because you'll be back next week, uh, correct? I sure will. All right, great. Thank you so much for being here today, Michael. Thanks, Erica.